Hello and welcome to News Review from BBC Learning English. I'm Neil. Joining me is Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Neil. Hello, everybody. Yes, a sports story today. And tennis player Novak Djokovic has been disqualified from the US Open. And don't forget, you've got to test yourself on the vocabulary from this news review. Go to our website at bbclearningenglish.com to find it. Right, let's hear more about that story about Novak Djokovic from this BBC Sports Report. There's no suggestion the shot was deliberate. Djokovic wasn't looking where he hit the ball, having just been broken on his serve. But a ruling of physical abuse means the world number one was defaulted. Yes, world tennis number one Novak Djokovic is out of the US Open. He hit a ball in anger. It hit a line judge in the neck. She's not seriously injured, but he's been asked to leave the US Open tournament. OK, it's the story everyone's talking about. What vocabulary have you picked out? Yes, we have kicked out, blown his or her or their chances and fuel. Kicked out, blown his, her, their chances and fuel. OK, let's have a look at your first headline. And we're starting in Russia. The publication Russia Today says Tennis fans in shock as top seed Novak Djokovic kicked out of US Open after hitting judge with ball. Kicked out. Forced to leave. Yes, so we have two words here. The first word kicked. C K. I-C-K-E-D, and the second word, out, O-U-T, kicked out. Hmm. Now, I know what kick means, Catherine. It yes. It means to hit something pretty hard with your foot. So That's right. Are we saying here that uh, Novak Djokovic was kicked so hard he flew out of the US Open? Like a footballer. Like a giant football. Uh, no. Clearly, we're not saying that. But the idea of um, being forcibly forcibly having to leave or move is the idea of kick. If you kick a football, it moves whether it wants to or not because you've used some force. And that's the idea here. Novak Djokovic has, has been required to leave forcefully, not with actual physical force, but he's got to go. And he may, whether he wants to or not, he's going. Now, the idea of kicked out also means that you have to leave an organisation, an event or some other kind of activity because you've broken the rules. Now, here, the rule, clearly, there's a rule against hitting umpires with balls and hitting balls in anger. He broke that rule, so he's required to leave. So if you break a rule somewhere, Neil, you may be or you may get kicked out. OK, now, we've heard another word with a similar meaning, disqualify. So why can't I just say disqualify? What's different about kicked out? Well, disqualified is more formal. It's a bit longer. New, it's less dramatic than the idea of kick, isn't it? Um, so newspapers like this because of the drama and because it's more colloquial and because it's slightly shorter. Meaning-wise, they're very similar, but I would say that kick out as well as being informal, has a broader meaning. So if you get kicked out of a meeting, you haven't been disqualified because you haven't broken a set of official rules and a meeting isn't a competition because disqualify is for things like competitions. But kick, So kicked out has a wider range of uses for a wider range of situations, but it still means you've done something wrong, you're going. Right. I was in a in a bar for the first time in months nice. uh, recently, yeah, having a nice quiet drink. But somebody had uh, got a little bit too excited, perhaps. They had a bit <laughs> too much to drink. They're making lots of noise, upsetting right. people. And the barman kicked him out. He got kicked out. Yeah. If you kick somebody out or you can be kicked out, often used in the passive. And it's not just for physical places as well. You can get kicked out of a Facebook group if you break the rules or if you upset people. So you can get kicked out of virtual organisations and groups as well as real ones. OK, let's have a summary of that.
If you would like to learn more about phrasal verbs like kicked out, we have the perfect program for you, don't we, Catherine? We do the grammar game show. Don't miss it. It's a lot of fun. Click the link. Okay, let's see your second headline. Yes, and we're in the UK now with the Express. The headline: Novak Djokovic has blown big US Open chance with Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal absent. Blown his, her, or their chances. Missed an opportunity. Yes, two words: B L O W N. Blown. That's the past participle of the verb to blow. The second word: C H A N. C E S. That's chances, or as people like you pronounce it, Neil. Chances. Yes, the North-South divide in the UK and elsewhere. You will hear two pronunciations of this word: chances or chances. You choose the one you like. They're both easily understood. I think it's probably most useful to think of the word "blow" here as an explosion. Yes, it is. So blow is when you push mouth out of your sorry air out of your mouth, like if you're blowing on hot soup, for example. But we also talk about things blowing up. If there's an explosion, something another word to just to, to a synonym for explode is blow up. And this is right. This is a, the better way to think of it. He had an opportunity. The opportunity is gone, and it didn't just fade away. It went instantly. It went spectacularly. It was dramatic. It was exciting. It was big. It was shocking, and that's the idea. If you blow your chances, you really, really do something that just makes the chance, the opportunity, gone, gone, gone. Yeah, no, you normally, of course, there would be a pronoun uh, in there. We would say blown his chances. Uh, but because it's a headline, as we know, words go missing, don't they? Yes, that's right. Yes, he, we, the headline has taken out the pronoun his. But generally, you blow your chances or he blows his chances or she has blown her chances. And Neil, I expect you have blown your chances of doing something once or twice in your life, have you? Well, a long time ago, when I was in a different job, I uh, I had the opportunity for a promotion. Um, however, for some strange reason, um, I was quite argumentative in a in a meeting once, no. critical, very critical of my boss in a very. I find that very hard to believe you criticizing people in meetings, Neil. Very, very, very publicly, um, and uh, my boss didn't really like this. Funnily enough, I didn't get that promotion. I no. blew my chance. With your poor behaviour in meetings, you blew your chances of a promotion. I blew it. You blew it. Yeah, that's a short. And that's another but... way. That's a shortened version, isn't it, of to blow your chances, just to blow exactly, it. Exactly, yes. We often say don't blow it as a warning to people when they're doing really well at something. Um, and we know we, we're trying to say don't get overexcited, don't get overconfident, don't do anything stupid, don't blow it. It means don't spoil this opportunity. You've got a penalty in the last minute of the World Cup final. Don't blow Don't it. Don't blow it. <laughs> Very easy to blow it in that situation. OK, let's have a summary. If you like stories about sport and exercise and keeping fit, we have a great one for you. We do, and you can find that story by just clicking the link. It's about running marathons and how they can add years to your life. OK, your next headline, please. And we're in Australia now, the Sydney Morning Herald. It's an opinion piece. It reads like this. Fresh criticism will only fuel Djokovic's quest for ultimate supremacy. Fuel. Make more intense. Yes. F. U E L fuel. Now you know what fuel is, don't you, Neil? So I'm a little bit confused here, Catherine. I thought fuel was something you put in your car to make it go, like petrol or diesel, or wood or coal that you would put on a fire. But here, this is a verb. So what's happening? 
what's happening? <laughs> yes, so you're right. Fuel is something that provides energy or power. That's the key to this. Now, if we make it a noun, a, a verb form, if you fuel something, you provide energy or power. Now, we're not talking about coal or electricity here, but we are talking about sort of mental energy in the form of motivation. So where a f um, petrol makes a car move forward, what this commentator is saying is that criticism will provide energy for Novak Djokovic to perform even better. And some of us are like this, aren't we, Neil? If I say to you, you can't make that program any better, you will go away and you'll probably make it better because you thrive on people saying you can't do something. Am I right? You're probably right, yes. Yeah. So my, it's probably useful to think of Novak Djokovic here as a, as a fire and the criticism yeah as a log, a piece of wood that you throw onto the fire, the fire come, becomes more intense. Exactly that, yeah. Good and good explanation. Yeah. So often we see this word used as a verb with the word speculation. Yes. Now that's a slightly different way of using it, but it's the same idea. If you fuel speculation, speculation is means rumours or um, ideas about something is going to happen. If you fuel speculation, you add to those stories. You contribute to the rumours. So if I see um, a colleague looking at in the window of a jewellery shop and I come back and tell you, that will, it will probably fuel speculation that that colleague is going to propose marriage to his girlfriend because he's looking at rings. Yes, absolutely, yeah. Um, and uh, I've got a nice little uh, extra headline that I read about this morning. Apparently, demand for teeth whitening has been fueled during lockdown because people have spent lots of time looking at themselves in the mirror. Oh, no, Neil. <clears throat> You're going to start a, a teeth whitening crisis. The whole world will be buying up teeth whitening kits because you said that. <laughs> Are you saying I'm going to fuel that demand? You're fueling it right now. <laughs> I'm going to, after this program, I'm going to Google teeth whitening <laughs> again. <laughs> okay, let's have a summary. Time now for a recap of our vocabulary, please, Catherine. Yes, we had kicked out, forced to leave. We had blown his, her or their chances, missed an opportunity, and fuel make more intense. If you want to keep improving your English, check out our website, bbclearningenglish.com, and we are all over social media. Take care, stay safe, see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>